Elevate Wellness. I am Coach LaTanya. I have over 20 years in the fitness and wellness space. And every day I help people online achieve their health and wellness goals through programs, products, and services. Uh, I just wanted to wish each and every one a very happy holiday. My hope for you is that the light of Creator will shine brightly in your life and the life of your families. But I wanted to thank each and every subscriber. I wanted to take this time to be intentional about taking this time or using this time to thank each and every subscriber. And the reason why this is so, the reason why you are so important to me is before I started this channel or when I started elevating Elevate Wellness, um, I had already had a um, viable wellness practice. I already had a clientele. I already had products. I already had the online thing going. I did not have the time to help more people. And that has always been my goal is to help as many people as I can elevate wellness. And so I decided to go onto the platform of YouTube and help more people by putting out videos every week. And I, although I wanted perfection, although I wanted to be you know, fit, I wanted to appear fit, I wanted to feel fit, I didn't. But I did it at a time when I still had weight to lose, I still had body fat, I was still struggling to understand where my body was hormonally. I was still going through my own struggle, if you would want to call it that, my own lesson, I like to call it. I was still going through my own lesson of where is my body you know, now that I'm in my 40s, where's my body at? What 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 does my body need now that I'm now that I'm in my 40s, right? What does it need nutritionally? What does it need physically? What does it need now in order to perform at that high level that I want um, and that high level that I'm accustomed to? What is it that I need? So I had to learn, and so the learning curve was creating content, learning what um, you needed learning the type of workouts that you um, wanted from me, learning um, so much, not about not just about myself, but you as well. And so I appreciate you for being a part of this journey and elevating wellness with me. I really, really do. I also want to acknowledge those who come back every week and don't subscribe. <laughs> I thank you for coming back, checking back on the content, and I hope that it is helping you elevate wellness. And if it is, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So the next time I upload a video, you will be among the first to be notified. Hit the like button this time as well, because that's going to help the algorithm pick up uh, this video and share it amongst other people who need to elevate wellness. A lot of times, especially before 2020, those who wanted to lose weight summed it up to going into the gym, lifting some weights, doing some diets, and then losing weight. But we know better now. We know that you don't have to go to the gym. We know that you can go to the gym, but you do not have to go to the gym to feel better to move your body. You can do it in the comfort of your own space. And a lot of times, if you are a, um, a leader, someone who is over other people, you are in early and you're home late and going to the gym is the, not even the last thing on your list. And so I wanted to provide a way that you can have an outlet for that type of a lifestyle, that type of a demand on your life, that type of a demand on your, um, on your intellect, on your physical, on your emotional body, and provide you with a way to reduce cortisol, a way to sleep better, a way to move better, feel better, boost your mood, even your clarity and your focus, in addition to losing weight. That is why I'm here. So I want to thank you so much for being here. I did a mini haul and it's so many that I'm going to show you <laughs> during this workout. I'm going to show you during this video, um, but I wanted to show you just how cute these outfits were. I got them from uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, I think it's called a warehouse. And from what I understand, they're popping up along, um, I know in, in, in the Northeast, they're popping up. And what's so great about the store is, um, the other night I went there and I was able to get 50% off the lowest price. So for example, this outfit here, I got for $9. You heard it, <laughs> $9. 
Now I wanted this to be um, loose because as I'm moving, it's keeping me warm and things like that, but it's so cozy and it has pockets and I love my pockets. So it's great. So if you um, are in the area of a, of a Dick Sporting Goods or just Google Dick Sporting Goods warehouse and see if there's one near you, and if it is, I recommend that you go there as soon as this video is over, all right? <laughs> um, but I also wanted to share with you my goals for 2024. So in 2024, I want to help more. I want to help more in 2024. That is my goal. And I believe that is my assignment as well. So we're going to go even deeper. Now, my belief is it's in, it's impossible to go deeper or go higher if you don't go deeper first. So I know when I'm planting seeds, um, some like um, the uh, bamboo plant, for example, it doesn't really need to be rooted in soil. It can be rooted in rocks. But all of the, the root system really needs to be in those rocks enough for it to get, gather the minerals from those rocks. I believe that in order for us to go higher in elevating wellness, we need to go deeper. And so in order, so one of the ways that I want to go deeper is through programs, products, and services. So I am creating more products, digital products, digital programs, digital teachings, um, that you will have um, access to or can get access to. Some will be free, some will be paid. Challenges as well, um, physical, mental, spiritual. And these uh, types of products will be available to, available to you online. So this is how I will be able to help many more people. And I'm so excited about that. Now, I believe that as a wellness coach, Wellness does not stop with nutrition. It does not stop with a workout, but it is a holistic approach. It does not stop with sleep habits and healthy habits, but hair wellness, because that um, encompasses the way we think, the way we live, um, and that will compromise, that can affect, right? Lifestyle can affect the integrity of the hair, um, as well as clean beauty, skincare. So I'll be showing you um, my method of skincare, what I do and what I believe um, works for me at this time, at this season in my life, in my 40s. Um, topics like relationships I'm going to cover. Because if you've ever been in a toxic relationship, you understand the wear and tear that it can take on your body, on your emotions, on your soul. And you also understand that there's a level of depth that we have to go to in order to be healed so you can move forward but move forward, but come up and move forward. And that is my hope for each and every one. For example, the saying that um, a lot of men are intimidated by high value or, or, or uh, professional women. Um, I don't believe that. I believe that that is a license to continue to um, not correct, um, continue to not uh, reflect, and, uh, and, and it helps us sleep better at night. Um, but I'm not coming for anyone that when I say this, because I am including myself, we all have frailties. We all have issues and we are giving opportunities to overcome those things. And if we don't overcome those things, we continue to live out the same cycles of reality. And so, um, you know, the, 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 our, the condition of our society of, you know, I don't cook, I don't clean, I don't need this, I can do this, I, can, I don't need a man and all of that. You know, there's a level of ego there that, that we need to address. No, if you do not have a man and you are doing well, that's because creator is allowing you to do so. So no, you don't need a man, but you are not self-reliant always. We are not self-reliant always. We need someone. We need community. We need connection. So the idea of I don't need anyone, I don't need to in, uh, listen to anyone, respect anyone, I can do my own thing, that is misinformation. So that is, that's a perfect example of um, one of the creeds of our society right now. And it's um, important that we address it if we want to self-correct individually, corporate, and as a nation right? We set our mind a certain way. A lot of times it is from trauma. A lot of times it is from what we saw, what we were exposed to, and we, um, whatever happens, you know, to us from that trauma, 
we start to perceive things a certain way and it doesn't necessarily mean it's right and it doesn't always mean that it's wrong but I want to bring things up because it can help us elevate wellness and shift in the areas that we need to shift in. So this is what this is how we're going deeper. Now, I will be covering these topics, but I'm also going to be doing this through in the area of podcasting. So I am adding podcasting to this menu so you'll be able to consume it. And right now I want to add one podcast a month. Okay, that's something that I know that I can do. And then as time goes on, we'll go from there. We can adjust from there. But one podcast a month, sometimes I will have a guest and sometimes I will not have a guest. Um, I also want to add some lives. I'm not sure about that yet because I am an introvert a little bit. <laughs> and so, but I do want to do some lives too. Um, so we'll see if that happens. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. I want to honor what I say and I want to keep that as much as possible. I am not perfect, and so if I can't keep it one month or if I can't, then it's because life happened or I just couldn't do it. But that is my goal, and I just wanted to share that with you. I believe that when we set a goal, it's important that we put it out there in the air. We put it out there so that our mind can catch it and so then our habits can also start to form and, and create that, that, um, that goal, um, help bring that goal about. Another thing I want to talk about is faith, okay? Not religion, because religion is a system of which we practice the divine, of which we practice worshiping the divine, the creator, God, Yeshua, Yahweh. Um, I am a believer in Yeshua. I am not religious. The church that I attend is non-denominational. I do not believe in those types of things. I don't believe that I need to be conf uh, um, um confined to a certain system of practicing my devotion and my worship to my creator but I do understand it and I do believe that some people need more structure but I believe that my uh, fellowship among other believers and my fellowship with creator is what keeps the order by the power of the Holy Spirit and his written word from which I study and prayer so I am not here to tell you that you need to be a Christian. I want to share that faith side of my spirituality because I want to bring out there's so much that's in the Bible that I have learned and seen, not just from the way it was written, but from the Holy Spirit, from the breath of God, from the wind of God. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of that through my indigenous perspective because, again, we were considered as savages, we were considered as heathens, we were considered as, um, we were for, um, forbidden to even practice ceremonies. And I've stated this before, but it is disheartening to hear someone assume that because I am um, Skudore Wokara, that I am Indigenous American, that I do not know God. That is such an insult. It's an insult to my culture, it's an insult to me, it's an insult to my people, and it's an insult to insult to creator as well. Because it says that he did not reveal himself to certain people for whatever reason. And that is that's hurtful. So I want to share my belief in what he's taught and a lot of it will be through who I am, through my perspective as an indigenous American woman. We'll be addressing things like racism as well. The traumas of our ancestors were passed down to us, whether we were the oppressor or whether we the, or whether we were the oppressed. And so, what happens and what we're seeing is the cries of the uh, descendants of those oppressed and the descendants of those oppressors are reaping in their lives and their situations, and we are left for that. But until we put it out there and speak. This hurts me because we are actually recreating the same thing that we thought we escaped. This is There's a saying that says, if you don't know history, you are bound to repeat it. Why? Because the same spirit, the same um, mindset, the same behaviors will create the same thing and you find yourself in circles over and over and over. So me, being from the South, I've seen racism. I've heard racism. I was raised in a place where racism exists, so I am not oblivious to it. However, being a woman of Yeshua, 
I can tell you <laughs> that we don't have to live bound. We don't have to live that way. So there's a lot of things that I want to be covering here to help us really shift our mindset. Everyone that's white is not racist. Some people are just not aware. And everyone that's black are not not racist. <laughs> Some people have not been healed. And we need to just be honest about things. We need to be honest. And one of the things, why, one of the reasons why I believe we are struggling as a nation with racism is because as a nation, we have not repented for what we've done, how we've oppressed, how we've murdered, how we've raped, how we've robbed, how we've stolen identities and thrown it among someone else. We have not been honest with that. There's a level of, a big level of confusion in our nation. We don't know who we are. We don't know where we come from. We take other people's cultures and other people's stories because we don't know who we are. All of that is the fruit of what was sown in this land, in these Americas. And we fail to recognize that. We fail to say that. Listen, my ancestors are wrong. Listen, I apologize. There are some people that are doing it. Yes. And thank you for being honest. There are some conversations that are being had. Yes. Yes. And thank you for the conversations. I love when I get to have these conversations with my husband, with my um, people in my community, people that don't look like me. We get to have these conversations and it's a blessing and it is healing. But we need to have more of these conversations without feeling as if we need to throw our opinion on someone else. And if they don't uh, agree with us, then we can't have a conversation. This is about a conversation. This is not about me converting you to believe one way or the other. But we need to have those conversations. And this is one way that we elevate wellness. All right. So I know that I talked about some deep things today. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section, which are you most, which topic are you most excited about? Again, I believe that in order for us to go higher, in order for us to elevate wellness, we need to go deeper. So we're going deeper into faith. What is it that you believe in? And why do you believe that way? That's your spirit and that's your soul, right? And then how do we honor our body? How do we treat our body like a temple and not feel guilty about it? Because a lot of times I have been a woman all my life and I hear women say, oh, but I need to do this and I need to do that and I have to do that. But at what point do you honor your body and rest? At what point do you honor your body and sleep? Get eight hours of sleep. At what point do you do that? And I'm speaking to myself. At what point do we sleep seven to eight hours without having to be sick in order to do it? At what point do we say, I need to move my body in order to stay out of the doctor's office and stay off of medication? At what point do we honor our bodies and eat the foods that we know Creator has brought up from this earth instead of what's been processed by man and then be bonded in bondage to the artificial contents and artificial preservatives that are in packages that don't make us feel well. At what point do we say, I am tired of that. I'm going to honor myself and I'm going to elevate wellness and I'm going to do this in a way that reflects the beauty and the freedom of my creator. At what point do we do that? I'm just asking. I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> okay. I am so passionate about your wellness, about your wellness, your mind, your body, your spirit. And I hope nothing but wellness and wholeness in, in for you and your family for 2024. I'm hoping more for you in 2024, individually and as a community. All right. So if you've enjoyed this content, if you've enjoyed um, this whole spiel, leave a comment, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. I know it was a little bit different, but I thought it was the perfect time for you to kind of hear where my heart is um, going for 2024. Next Monday, I'm going to be sharing a stretching workout with you. And followed by Thursday, I'm going to be sharing um, some things that I do to, I'm getting over a cold, thank God. Um, but I wanted to share some things that I do um, to get over a cold, not just for myself, but also my family as well. It has worked for me. It has worked for them. And I'm hoping that it will help you elevate wellness too, if you are ever under the weather. This is flu season, cold season, and all these things. I, every time I go to a store, I'm hearing people cough. 
And so I think that this will be timely, especially after gathering during the holidays. You may feel sniffles, you know, things are going around now. And so I think that'll be ideal, okay? So Monday will be stretching, followed by Thursday will be some cold tips that I do. And then the following Monday, I think is New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or something like that. I'm going to be sharing another stretch, very simple. I want you to sleep. I want you to rest. I want you to enjoy, but I want you to stretch. It was a very simple, I think, five or 10 minute um, workout that you can do. You can even do it at your desk and to help you elevate wellness. It is January 2nd. I'm going to be doing a 21 day challenge. This is of no cost to you. So 21, it's a tw this challenge is called 2130. 21 days of 30 minutes or less activity to help you get into the practice of moving your body and living a healthy lifestyle. You've probably heard it takes 21 days to form a new habit. So this is to help you form that new habit before you start paying money to a gym or before you do any online training session. It helps you to get into that mode, into that um, momentum before you subscribe to anything. Okay, so I want you to enjoy that. You can actually, if you're watching from Instagram, you can um, hit the link in my bio and uh, get access to that. If you are watching from YouTube, you will see the um, fitness challenge. Just go ahead in this above the description and you can go ahead and take a hold of that as well. I'll see you in 2024. And until next time, live beautiful.